My name is Lepa Mojenovic. I come from Belgrade. I'm a feminist lesbian from the time of Yugoslavia. And I'm um, a very happy lesbian. How did we start to organize as uh, lesbians in, uh, in first in Yugoslavia and then in Serbia? Uh, first, we organized as feminists. So from the feminist group, in Belgrade, uh, and there were feminist groups in uh, Croatia and in Slovenia. And in, in, in the end of the 80s, we had uh, uh, our f feminist, Yugoslav feminist meetings, which included lesbian as well. So we had um, met as lesbians in Yugoslavia first time at the end of the 80s and recognized each other. So that was very important for my f formation of, the, of me being a, a lesbian. And, uh, so uh, that was the first part. And then, um, and then the war started in 91. It totally changed my life. It changed my life. At that time, I was, a, uh, I was a feminist. I was working on the SS hotline for battered women. That uh, we have started as feminists organized as Women in Black Against War. So it was the first thing that 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 was uh, for me important in those days. It was to 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 discuss and talk to women. What are we supposed to do in 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 the situation of the war? And, uh, and how to get more information because the, we were living in Belgrade and uh, the war started by Serbian regime and what as a feminist it meant for us how we are responsible in respect of this fact that the regime which was practically coming from our address from, from the same town is Serbian regime has started the war and continued the war. So that was really important for 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 who I am now, and uh, and then in this um, movement of uh, of the anti-war movement, there were some lesbians apart from me. So when we started in uh, '92 to have uh, uh, every year International Women uh, Against War meeting, which we named women's uh, solidarity against war. There were uh, lesbians already coming and I don't know in which year there was a, a feminist lesbian who came from Budapest also, Judith Hatfaludi. So we connected um, and then and I also in uh, 92 had a lover from Budapest a feminist lesbian in, who was living in Budapest, um, Antonia Barros. So that was a huge connection with, uh, so I was coming here all the time. In that same time, uh, we were organizing as gay and lesbians first in Belgrade, and it was a, a group uh, which we called Arcadia by 91-92. And uh, then we, uh, had met as Arcadia in the spaces of women's studies and, and some women's spaces. And, uh, and then uh, in 94, the lesbians started to organize separately. So by 95, we already had a group which one of the uh, lesbian leaders from the group named Labris. She was the first one. It was Yelena Labris who even had her nickname like that. So she found out about this uh, great story and we all said yes, yes, yes. And so um, by 95 uh, we even uh, went to, to as Labris in the uh, International uh, hu UN uh, Women's Conference in Beijing and we were really very active as three of us lesbians there. From Belgrade. Uh, so, uh, so that's how we started. What's important from that history is that in, in fact all the lesbian organizing in Belgrade were from feminists and we were very much insisting on the feminist politics and anti-war politics which meant non-anti-nationalist politics and uh, uh, because that was uh, our issue. Yes. What does Labris mean? Yes, uh, I, I really like this interpretation, I must say. I'm still so sort of Labris girl. <laughs>
our implementation in libraries in Belgrade was that uh, one part of the X is uh, uh, because it was uh, found in a Cretan uh, um, engravings. So one X is uh, um, uh, for women uh, uh, who are digging the ground and putting uh, uh, seeds in the soil, and then the, the the plants are growing. So that's symbolically life. Yeah, so women are there mm, to represent it as uh, life givers. And the other one is uh, X when the enemy comes uh, to have an instrument how to defend uh, your own community. So, and it was found near the, the, the women, some faces of women. So the interpretation of, of some many lesbians and us is that uh, this is an autonomous women who don't need men for to defend her from the enemies, so we can uh, live on our own and mm, are totally autonomous. So I'm one of those autonomous feminist lesbians. In fact, uh, what's important for me is what gives me hope is that uh, there is a, a group of young queer activists in Budapest and there is uh, lots of exchanges. Also, I know that some uh, queer activists and lesbians from Bosnia and Herzegovina are, are coming here and, uh, and uh, also from Vojvodina and from different parts. So it's very important. This exchange is so crucial. It really uh, is crucial. I just uh, was two months ago in, in Albania and I saw fantastic uh, lesbians in Albania also. So it's really great. The changes for gays and lesbians and queer are going much faster than, than any other human rights. It's really going uh, giant steps now and the new new kids are on the internet and nothing is stopping them no matter what the government is can be fascist in the government we have in serbia ultra nationalist government it doesn't really matter there are lots more lesbians and gays in in our town the first phrase i learned in um, in uh, in hungarian and i was rehearsing it every day was feminista halozat and i was very happy to know that and uh, because Antonia was one uh, was one of the uh, feminist activists there and I remember there was even one uh, a lesbian from Croatia who was in love with the one uh, feminist here so I met her and we both had uh, lovers here it was so interesting and and we were both waiting when the meeting of feminist house that finishes and it's clear that, uh, uh, that there is a circulation of uh, lesbians and activists and queer women who are coming from different places and moving around and learning. It's really fantastic. My uh, understanding is that Labris got the name Labris because of uh, our Labris and because um, because of the love stories and uh, and friendship stories, because I was uh, also very much friend with uh, with uh, uh, Judith Hatfaludi. Then we had a couple of years later Labris in um, in uh, Bishkek in Kyrgyzstan that was uh, named by uh, a lesbian from Ukraine who who went to Bishkek in uh, American University to do study gender studies and she made up a lesbian group and called it Labris I guess because she was also knowing that there was uh, Labris in, in her region and I just met her a couple of years ago so we figure out that there is a story. Mm -hmm. You know the pro the problem is that when I broke up with with uh, with my girlfriend, then I stopped coming here. <laughs> it's a classical story. <laughs> so um, so I was more uh, informed by by then friendship because I, I remained friends with um, Yuditka. So Yuditka was coming to me, and then she brought me all these materials. So that's how I was. I had to have all the leaflets of of Labis Budapest, mm -hmm. and uh, so I was really had to be updated, mm -hmm. so in that way, but that was not really coming here. So I have this nostalgia for, for Budapest, I'm so glad I'm here. What about now? How is uh, Labris in Belgrade doing? And how oh, Labris in Belgrade, yeah. Lesbian feminist scene in Belgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Labris in Belgrade. Um, well, the good thing is that Labris in Belgrade is alive also all these years, and uh, we have a very organized uh, office, and I'm part of the Labris Parliament, we call it Parliament, so we have every year the sessions of the Labris Parliament. And um, 
Mm, so we just had one now to decide. Uh, so, so in our country, uh, what's now like a, a big dilemma issue is are we uh, against pride or pro pride? Because in Serbia there is ultra nationalist government, and uh, which is in the last two years uh, uh, forbidding the gay pride, the gay lesbian pride, pride parade. And so um, the, the community is split between uh, um, do we really want to spend our energy and to fear, to make so much fear about the parade or, or not. So I'm one of those who is uh, 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 really taking the stand of the lesbian community because I work as a counselor with lesbians now and, uh, and I see that the fear is so much. So my standpoint is that I want to wait until the government is changed to make, uh, to organize a parade. And there are um, lots of lesbians and gay and queer uh, people who think we should try to have a parade every year anyway, no matter that this produces lots of fear in the community because it's our right. So we are mm -hmm. now discussing and we had an extra meeting in Labris about this issue. And uh, so there is a uh, lot of things going on um, and uh, I think what is important is that there are also, uh, Labris is more now project-oriented organization and some of us who are activists aside, we, we are organizing, like uh, a few of us have organized last year something which we call the Lesbian Spring. Uh, we invited a, a, a lesbian uh, a poet uh, Elana Dyke woman who is from San Francisco. She's really a great butch. She has all these butch poems and it's really fantastic. So she was uh, in, in, in Belgrade. She, she was in somewhere in Europe and then we invited her to come to Belgrade and then we made lots of activities with her and uh, lots of lesbians came and so this is like we organized as, uh, as, uh, as activists. So. That's what we are trying to make other activities which are not connected to project proposals and budget lines. And it's also important to say that there are lots of young, uh, young feminists and young queer feminists who are appearing now with different ideas. So that's really great. So there are new blogs and uh, you know different way how they are active. And I really wish just that we, now that I am here again, reminded how it's important that uh, this exchange, you know, I will try to see more ways how to, that lesbians are, you know, traveling more and seeing each other, meeting each other. It's really, it really gets so much new energy.